Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Leo how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Leo, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my Leo gang and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Leo, let's start your reading. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And Leo, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, so Leo. Leo newcomers, I'm setting down. Um, two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, your mutual energies, action cards etc. If this is your reading Leo, you'll know which uh, side you resonate best with, right? For me this is person A and this is person B. Bottom of my deck I have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now this is a very and grounded energy player type, right? Uh, somebody who's not stepping up to the plate or just inconsistent, in it only for the passion or this is just or maybe somebody just not wanting to take action anymore. So uh, Leo, that's your overall. Let me just take a quick look at the cards. Uh, I do feel somebody, I think, very stable, very, very stable person who wanted stability with their person as well some you know they wanted that respect to be shown they wanted to maybe go the long haul or get a commitment or something but on their own also i think they were very good but uh, they the whoever person a is i think sees the other their person person b as a bit toxic uh, they feel that this was not a good connection, this was too toxic. I'd rather concentrate on myself, on my building my own finances up, taking care of me now. Whereas the other person, well, they, I think, know. They know that a choice has been made which is not in their favor and somebody has turned their back on them. Okay, so I'm, of course I'm going to clarify these cards, I could be wrong, right? So I'm going to clarify all these cards and see what's going to happen later. But um, first let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be first. Okay, so Leo and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person, there's too many. Leo and that person. Leo and that person. Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Leo from another deck. And uh, well, uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, Leo, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Leo and that person. All right. Good to go, Leo. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I'm trying to be the person that you see me to be. I never thought I could be that person. See, person A was looking for somebody really stable who would honor them, who would respect them. But I don't think person B turned out to be that. I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile remembering you. I tried to walk away from you, but something keeps pulling me back to you. Missing you so much, we truly did have something special. You're all I ever need to complete me. Do you really believe I'm the one for you? I still have your picture saved. You don't have to build an empire alone. Let me build one with you. Okay, so Leo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, it's time to start your reading. But of course, we're going to take an angel blessing card before that. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Leo. Two cards. Okay. Steady progress. 
and learning experience. Okay, so well, I guess this uh, person A has it correct. This could have been a karmic soulmate. I'm sorry, person B, karmic soulmates are not bad. They just in your life to teach you a lesson, which I think person A could have learned because they are going through an ending with this connection. From what I'm feeling, they're going to be uh, there's going to be steady progress. After this, after learning this very valuable lesson, this is learning experience. Some lesson was learned from this connection. Okay, so now spirit, let's start with person A's energy. Person A, you have the queen of pentacles as your feelings. Why is that? Queen of pentacles. Yeah, queen of pentacles says, for me, Umkara Taro, it's over. It's over. I put an ending to this karmic cycle or this person who was toxic. I'm done. I'm focusing on me. I'm stable. I'm happy. I'm feeling good, looking good. I have everything in order. I'm uh, sitting in a very comfortable place for myself now. For me, this was too toxic. For me, I've ended it. So the devil, what's the devil in your feelings? Why do you feel this? Yeah. Yeah, person uh, A says, of course, this is this is a, a toxic energy, Omkara Taro. They always behaved like this. They behaved like it was always their way or the highway and they always put me down. They didn't make me feel good enough. It was always creating arguments for the sake of it or just behaving very pompous and as if it was all about them and nothing about me. Uh, they kept secrets from me. They kept secrets from me. Well, I've healed from that. I've already started my healing process, I've healed, I'm in a good place and according to me, this is over now. So why do you feel this way, uh, person A? What happened in the recent past, do you want to tell us? Person A says, uh, two of wands, well, they didn't, but they were not given any indication as to where this connection was going. Yeah, well, person A says, they, they just left it open. They left it wide open. They never told me whether we were going left, right, where, where was this connection going. And so they, since they didn't make that decision, I made one for myself. I chose my own path. I decided to stop waiting around and just stay in limbo waiting for somebody who always has to have their own way. And well, I chose my path and guess what? It's only led me to happiness and more happiness in my life. So what's the sun card, person A? What's the sun card? What happened here? Oh, they became single. <laughs> person A says, well, since I stopped waiting around for person B, Omkara Taro, I took my independence back. I'm like you said, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm growing my pentacles. I'm single, available and ready to mingle. And uh, it's given me so much happiness to kind of say, okay, I've shut that door. I've chosen my own path and that's it. I'm done. Life has only become better. Okay. So... Person A, how do you see your person now? How do you feel about this connection? Ten of Swords and the Death card again. So what's the Ten of Swords? Person uh, A says, for me, this cycle is over. They betrayed my trust. They hurt me. They left me for dead. They only created conflict in my life. Well, guess what? I'm manifesting now. I'm manifesting Umkara Taro, a real emperor now to come into my life. I'm single. I'm doing well. I know my worth now. I, I was in limbo for a little while, but uh, well, since I shut that chapter, I've realized I can manifest anything I want. And what I'm actually manifesting is a true blue emperor. I'm transforming my life completely after this ending. So, what's the death card? What's the death card, person A? Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 So, person A, person A says, repeating cards, all of them. This, this toxic person, 
this toxic person i've ended it with them all they did was give me stress and tension if that's what you're asking om khara taro what i see feel about them then this is it i've ended it with somebody who was uh who was toxic at least that's how i feel and they always kept me i i always felt i was alone in the connection because i was all up in my head stressed out tense not knowing what to do i am going towards my 10 of cups now this is the transformation i'm bringing into my life this is the this is what i'm manifesting in my life and a true emperor who can bring me happiness so person is manifesting this okay at the moment what action they will take i will open later uh, leo let's go on to the other side and see in reality how person b is feeling okay so person b you have the two of swords in reverse what's that in your feelings two of swords in reverse mm -hmm. oh they are disappointed at the decision made they feeling very disappointed they feel the choice or a decision has already been made or they feeling disappointed that they didn't make that choice or decision uh, that uh, to invest when the time was right they wasted time there's a huge disappointment here uh 3 of uh, ones in reverse yes this person is now feeling very stressed out oh this person is feeling very very st stressed out they can't sleep at night they feel they had a lost opportunity or unrequited love or whatever you may want to call it this person is now having nightmares and the nightmares are that they lost a very very stable connection this is exactly how person a is showing up right as the queen of pentacles upright this is what they had in their hand and this is what now they feel i've lost this person for good this was one person who i i could have had for the long term but because there was no investment put by me i didn't make that decision the decision has been made for me okay so you so what you reap that is that is the way it happens person b what happened you want to tell me what happened in the recent past that uh, all this happened from your perspective the high priestess in reverse they never listen to their intuition they never listen to their intuition they could have been a bit depressed maybe that uh, that point maybe they were more inclined towards their stability security they didn't have time maybe to you know they didn't have time to spend on frivolous uh, activities uh, such as uh, meeting up with person a or uh, celebrating with person a uh, this person was could have been a bit focused uh, they were not really focused on love that is for sure they were not focused on love they were not focused on getting together with the you know a loving partner this person all they had in their heart and mind was how to le uh, reach a level of success and stability and money money could have been a big thing for person b uh, maybe they never listen to their intuition about what was truly abundance for the long term so they say money comes and goes uh, leo but true love well that's irreplaceable so why what happened uh, four of cups in reverse what's the four of cups in reverse yeah some immature behavior immature behavior very head over heart decisions uh breaking promises not uh, showing up or uh, they, whatever this person did they never gave that offer and uh, they acknowledging that they kind of well played a part in breaking person A's heart right they never took that love offer they never offered them anything Okay so person B how do you feel about uh, this person now how do you feel about the connection as a whole six of wands in reverse okay so person B says i am actually right now kara taro feeling very embarrassed and very ashamed uh, to even tell them that i don't i don't want this connection to end i am listening to my intuition now and i do want to solve this uh, conflict that's happened between the two of us i do crave for peace and happiness in my life now but i'm so embarrassed i'm so ashamed and i i i feel i'm getting bad karma i feel if i do go back 
to my person they are going to be very upset with me they're going to ask me questions like where were you what were you doing and they could still be very upset and angry with me i feel i'm getting my karma for the way i've behaved and i'm, I'm embarrassed even to go face them now so go queen of wands in reverse why do you see your partner as the queen of wands in reverse now because uh, well it, they did something they could have snuck away or they got caught doing something wrong or not even wrong maybe they just feel this whatever image they were trying to portray of themselves it backfired now they feel that their person is not going to admire them or respect them or uh, they may be uh, still upset or will never trust them again so yeah yeah i now i think person what person b is trying to tell me they feel that person a has already decided uh, to turn their back on them completely and has made a firm decision that i'm no longer coming back to person b that's what person b feels that person a is feeling that i do no longer want to come back to you i've turned my back towards you and I, that is my final decision so now they are stuck now now they are feeling totally stuck because they don't know with what face to go back to person a and even ask them to give them another chance because they they know what they've done and they and they feel person a is probably justified anything else yeah see again six of wands in reverse again this person is completely feeling knocked off their high horse if they were egoistic in the past they feeling not that you know successful anymore that's what i said success is not money and wealth and houses and cars uh, true success is when you have a loving partner by your side leo and that is what this person doesn't have now and they have no hopes that they can get it back either okay so let's see your actions then i'm going to take another deck for this one leo and of course i'm going to request you now if you could just tap that like button for me it really helps the videos to circulate and uh, reach many more people and uh, of course makes me extremely happy to know how many of you have connected with and also uh, leo when uh, newcomers when you do subscribe uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell that way that youtube can <coughs> notify you when new videos are released thank you okay so person a action from your end king of cups in reverse person a doesn't believe that uh, person b is the one who can give them love they feel uh, person their person was emotionally unavailable emotionally manipulative uh, never opened up never spoke about love or anything soft to them maybe uh, what else why is that an action why is the king of cups an action from your end person a Person B says, "Well, they're not my king of cups, so Kara Taro. My intuition tells me they are just a player. So I've gone silent on them completely. They've shown me their true colors. Okay. So person A is quite sure that person B is just in it for the fun, and they'll never step up to the plate. So I think person A is not interested in talking at the moment. So person B, what about you?" king of pentacles in reverse exactly what i said in the past they were just thinking of being the king of pentacles upright right looking for that security and money and abundance and not paying attention to their partner now they're feeling where is the abundance i don't have love in my life so why is that an action but uh, person a uh, b why is that an action why is that an action from your end eight of pentacles oh they want to put in work <laughs> towards okay so person b says i've realized that the true true abundance is actually putting in work into love omkara taro instead of instead of the pentacle look at me now i have a bunch of flowers roses in my hand i want to now put in work but i want to put in work towards love okay 
Okay, that's nice. If you've learnt your lesson, if this was a learning experience for you. Um, yeah, but they are, I don't think they've really made that move yet. They could be waiting, they could be contemplating. Uh, they're a little worried that uh, person A has already kind of moved on or shut the door on them. So, will you make any move or not person B? What's your action? What's your action? Too many. One card please. What's your action? Okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This person does want to come in. They do see person A as their perfect match but because of their embarrassment and shame and the baggage that this person is carrying, it's not allowing them to rush forward. So, if they do come forward, it would be rather slow, painfully slow because they are not feeling secure enough, they do not feel grounded enough to, but they at least they realize that is a good thing, right. So, person A, I am going to ask you a last time, will you take any action towards person B specifically? Any action from your end towards person B? devil. No, person B is quite sure this was absolutely toxic, this was a karmic connection. I am not interested Omkara Taro, I already told you that before, right? I see them as a player now. I do not want toxicity in my life, period. So, that is all I have for you Leo, till next time then, love and light, take care, namaste.